High fashion hair is often over the top. Runway hairstyles may not be practical for everyday wear, but they're fun to create and a must-have in the fashion world. Runway hair is all about texture, and the hottest texture right now is frizzy and voluminous. I'll style my own version of frizzed out runway hair and show you my technique for creating it. To show you the frizzed out runway hair, I'm gonna demonstrate on my model Ashley. Now you can choose to do the technique on the entire head of hair, but I really like the frizzed out look as an accent to an entire hairstyle. So to prep, I'm gonna give her a nice big volume with teasing. I'm gonna create a twist on one side, a braid on the other, and then gather her hair to one side and then begin the technique of frizzing out the hair. So I'm just gonna begin prepping the hair now. So I've only gathered some of her hair off to one side and I'm leaving the rest of it down because I'm going to wrap that around the ponytail holder and I'll leave my braid out of the equation for now. But just taking this hair, I'm just gonna wrap this around to conceal the rubber band and to give us some more texture to play with. And just add bobby pins around the perimeter of the wrap. Now once the hair is wrapped, I've done it very loosely, I'm just gonna pull out some of the pieces, just like this, just with my fingers to give it an added messy look, which is really big on the runways right now. Gives it kind of a knotted effect as well. Then I'm gonna set that with a hairspray. And now I'm gonna begin adding the frizzy texture. My favorite tool for creating the frizzed out runway look is the 13 millimeter Enzo Milano because a frizzed out look starts with a really tight curl pattern and this is a perfect diameter for what I'm going for. So I just take a small section and then holding the Enzo Milano down, I'm gonna wrap, keeping the hair flat against the barrel. I'm not allowing it to naturally twist down the barrel. Then I'm going to hold that for about three to five seconds and release. You can see the tight little curl it's given it. So I'm going to do two more and you want to let your curls cool before you do anything else. Again, holding the Enzo down, wrapping, allowing the hair to lay flat against the barrel and releasing. And you might get some of these stray hairs in your curl. That's perfectly fine because it is a really messy look. Any added texture is good texture. Now, if you don't have the 13 millimeter Enzo Milano, but you're trying to do the frizzed out look, I wanna let you in on a really cool tip, and all you need is a metal skewer from your kitchen and any flat iron that you have. I'm just gonna turn this on and let this heat up. And the technique for this is grabbing a small piece of hair, holding the skewer down, and then just wrapping the hair tightly around the metal skewer. You're then going to take a hot flat iron and just lightly grab the hair around the skewer. Now this is heating up the hair and the metal is helping conduct. It's gonna create a really, really cool texture. Now once you've heated the hair, just release the skewer. And you can see how tightly wound this hair is then taking a rat tail comb, you simply brush out the hair and you'll have this amazing frizzy texture and you can do that with a kitchen appliance and a flat iron. So I'm gonna continue throughout the hair using a combination of the Enzo Milano and the skewer technique to frizz out this entire section of hair. So once you've gone through and created all the curl pattern, just make sure you go back through the hair and fluff out any of the pieces that you see that are still complete curls with your rat tail comb. Set with a hairspray. And then of course with runway hair, the bigger the better. So I'm gonna take this frizzed out section, which is all gathered right here, and take some pieces and just kind of pin them up so we have a bigger section of frizz around the head. 
Then again, taking my rat tail comb, I'm gonna tease into the entire section to get a nice fluffy base. I also didn't forget about this braid I created in the beginning. So I'm just gonna bring this in and incorporate it into the frizzed hair and just kind of pin it in the hair. Runway hair often has an extra fantasy feel to it, and I like to add color to a model's hair to give it that extra pop. I've done the same technique on Easy Lights, which are 100% human hair, so they allow me to frizz them out in the same manner as I would normal hair. And I'm just gonna add these strategically throughout her hair for some extra hair and some extra color. And they attach with little pressure sensitive clips, so you're gonna stay put. Also keep in mind that if you're doing runway hair and you wanna save yourself time, you can do this process to an entire head of extensions and then clip them into your model's hair. Then just blend the model's hair into the easy light. So it appears as if her own hair is the hair that's colored. And there you go. Adding color takes it a little further to that fantasy feel. Frizzed out hair is high fashion hot. Though in the past, frizzy hair was a nightmare, on today's runways, volume and frizz is all the rage. Whether you use my technique and tips to curl your own hair, or if you use extensions, you'll love the fashion forward looks you can achieve.